Picture this, you are a 13 year old girl living in France in 1917. You already have work experience as a governess. You saw electricity for the first time in school. It was like magic. Out of your three brothers, two are off serving in World War I and you worry about them. You also had a twin sister who died at 17 months from an illness that almost took you as well. This was the life experience of Lucille Randon, someone who just recently passed away. Lucille was the oldest person in the world up until the time of her death. She was a French nun and lived to be 118 years old, though was less than a month away from turning 119. Randon was born February 11th, 1904. In the US, people born around that time would be considered a part of the greatest generation. One of the defining experiences for that generation, which Lucille would have gone through as well, is experiencing World War II. She was actually a very early member of the generation and was clearly around to experience World War I as well. It is pretty interesting to imagine. Fortunately, her brothers did return okay from the war, though one did sustain injuries. Lucille lived a long life. Randon was the fourth oldest verified person who ever lived, the second oldest French person, and the second oldest European person ever recorded. She was also the oldest nun ever recorded and the oldest COVID survivor. She lived through 18 French presidents. That is all quite amazing, especially when you consider what happened to her twin. Modern medicine has played a role in extending her life. Uh, in her early 90s, she did have surgery after a heart attack. And know that she didn't maintain all of her abilities through her late life, so support was important as well. She was blind, uh, closer to death, and in a wheelchair since the 2010s. Lucille worked as a nun until the age of 108 and attributed that to being a factor in her long life. But as you may remember, nun was not the only position she ever held. Some of what she was doing during World War II was looking after children. She was a governess and a teacher for some families. The war itself resulted in many deaths, so following World War II, Lucille felt inspired to help out with orphans and elderly people. Younger and elderly people were generally not serving in the war, but may have lost their support systems during it. Each person who passes takes with them unique experiences and memories. And today I just wanted to talk a little bit about Lucille Randon's. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about Lucille and the time she lived through. Give this video a like if so, and subscribe if you want to see more content on the generations and related type content. And I will see you next time.